when I'm asked to evaluate something like g of negative 4, all this is telling me to do or asking me to do is replace x with negative 4 and work out until I get a value. So I'm actually going to start with the second problem this time and see what happens. So I want to replace all the x's with negative 4's and technically I even replace this first one. So I'm going to write g of negative 4. Now that's just a notation. It does not mean g times negative 4. And then equals 5. Again, x is equal to negative 4 plus 8. And really, this part I don't even need to worry about. It's just kind of there as a notation. All I want to work out is this right-hand side of the problem. So just following some order of operations would lead me to, well, negative 20 plus 8. I add those together and get negative 12. Negative 12 is the answer, although I'd prefer if you could write it the whole thing out. So I'm going to say g of negative 4 equals negative 12. And really, that's it. Some people try to divide both sides by negative 4 because they think it's multiplication. But remember, this uh, this is just a notation. The reason I like to write the whole thing out is because it helps me identify my domain and range. The number we replaced x with was my domain. That's my input. So this shows me my domain was negative 4. The answer I got out represents my output, my range. So that's all this problem is asking you to do. Uh, same thing can uh, be done for this first problem. I'm going to replace all the x's with negative 4's. So g of negative 4, which you don't really, really need to write that part down, but I'd like it if you could, uh, is equal to, and then be really careful when you replace these x's uh, with negative 4. So I've got negative and then negative 4 squared minus 2 times negative 4, and then plus 7. Be really careful if you're working this problem out with order of operations. Uh, this first piece is actually going to work out to be a negative 16, and then a plus 8, and then a plus 7. If I finish this problem, I can see that I get uh, just negative 1, which works out okay. I mean, that's not hard to do, and I guess... If I want to follow my own advice, I'm going to write it like that. g of negative 4 equals negative 1. Um, but let me show you a different way to do this problem using the table feature on your calculator. So if you've got your graphing calculators, get those ready. I'm going to switch over to my graphing calculator and show you how a really easy way to get this value using your table.